Hello, this is Bill from iHelpMy. Today I'm going to show you how you can create an iHelpMy store for your organization in about one minute after signing up. First, go to the iHelpMy.org website. From there, you can click on Login. As you might recall, we have two different types of logins for iHelpMy. One is to track your earnings, and the other is to configure your store. Here we want to configure the store. Click on that, and then we enter in our username and password, and log into the site. At this point, we have a blank store. Let's reset our store. We can choose then the correct type of organization. In our case, let's say it's a church. Then we save it, and in about two seconds, iHelpMy has created a full store for us. Now we have a header at the top of the page, and our store includes some banners, links, and several products for sale. This is a full iHelpMy store. We can only see part of it in the viewing window, but it really is a full page. Let's say we want to make some edits to our new store. Everything here is editable. For example, maybe we want to change the header. We can click on Edit Header, and we see a number of different options here. I like this nice yellow one, so we can choose that and press Save. Then maybe we want to change the header image for our church. Let's see, this would be a good image. So let's choose that and save it. We can see our changes are applied immediately. Let's say we want to move some content around the page. We can click on Edit Content. See the search box? I don't think this is a great location for a search box. So let's see if we can move it. We can drag it up here and then drop it. Note that the search box has been moved up to the top of the column and this admin panel here will go away for normal users. Now let's edit this shampoo product. Let's sell a different product there at the top of the page. We simply click up here and then click on edit. Then we can find some of the top selling I Help My products. We just click top selling products and it returns a list. It looks like this soap is a very popular product, so let's choose that. You can see that I Help My is instantly changing the page scroll down and then we can save it. Press OK to confirm it. I help my applies our change to our store instantly. What if we want to edit the content about our organization? We go into the edit content mode again then let's edit this widget. I help my will load up a nice little editor and we don't need to know anything about web design or programming. We just leave this content as it is or if we want we can make some changes. So we strive to make the world a better place, and thank you for visiting your, let's say it's called the Community Church. We can make an edit there, press OK, and save it. Note that the About Us box has already changed. So far, I've shown you how to create a store template in just a couple seconds, and then quickly how you can move things around the page and edit your I Help My Store. Next, I'm going to show you one more editing thing, and then I think we're, we're pretty much done with the editing part of the demo. So we can edit links too, because again, everything on an I Help My Store is editable. You can put direct links out to any site you want. Here, maybe we don't want to link out to Google. So let's delete that link and press OK. It's gone. Now let's log out of admin mode and see what your organization's friends or members or associates will see. If they click on any product and they want to buy it, what they'll see is throughout their entire checkout process that your organization's logo will be placed prominently on the screen so that your customers and friends and users will know that they are going to be giving credit to your organization for their purchase. Again, this is Bill, and I thank you for your interest in creating an I Help My Store for your organization.